We are on another episode of iPad 365 and today we're going to show you how you can take notes by using your iPad. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here. Welcome to iPad 365, the show where we review an app a day to keep your iPad in play. It is Thursday, we're going to be talking a productivity tool like we do every single Thursday. Um, so if you want, you just uh, if you're only interested in a certain type of app, then we've split it out into seven days worth of different types of apps, including Mondays is business, Tuesdays is games, Wednesdays is utility, Thursdays is productivity, Fridays is, uh, is viewer choice, so you can even send me a video. You review your own iPad app, you can even do it in a green screen, and I will, I will put in a green screen background for you if you want to, because, yeah, this is not a real background. Sorry. Saturdays is wild card and Sundays is fun day. So if you got an app, uh, if you got a uh, choice of which app you want to put on your iPad, then you might want to check out those specific days or just watch every single day because that's pretty cool too, right? Now today we talk about a program called Catch Notes. Now one way to make your iPad more productive is to actually use it to take notes on. There's a few note-taking products out there, but I have uh, checked out this Catch Notes application. With Catch Notes, you can create small notes about an item. You can tag and categorize them. For example, you could create a note called Grocery List and then put in milk and bread and, and stuff like that. So when you get to the grocery store, you can remember what, what, uh, what you need to get. Simple, simple little list like that. For a home list, you can make notes to remind you to fix, I don't know, the trim on the in the living room or something like that. Or maybe just sit down and watch a TV show at 8 o'clock. Something to fix the basement, something to get from the basement, so on and so forth. So you can use the catch notes to do different types of things. Of course, catch notes is also a great way to catch those little tidbits you might be hearing from a speaker or a conversation you're having with someone else. Maybe you're in a coffee shop, somebody passes by and says, hey, we need to talk about something. You go, okay, yeah, let's talk about this. And go, remember this code. And you go, wait a minute, let me throw out my catch notes. Bring it up, you put up a note, and then you can put that information. Now, another cool thing about this is you can add pictures or even add an audio recording. So if you don't want to write it down, you just say, hey, wait a minute, let me grab my catch notes, hit the record button, and then they can say, remember, on Tuesday, you've got this or whatever the note might be. Then you can put it into your note agenda and you can remember what's being said. Now, the best part about this program is it also includes hashtags so you can find your notes easier. So you can create a hashtag. Like for instance, when I was out at CES two weeks ago, I basically could have put the pound CES sign in a lot of my notes. So I could say, okay, search for everything that says pound CES and go from there. So you can, you can create that and you can organize that so you can get your notes easily. Now, here's the best part. You can create an account so you can sync those notes with your iPhone, your iPod, and even an Android device. So if you've got an Android smartphone and an iPad, no problem. It talks back and forth to it. So when you don't have your iPad or you don't have your Android phone or other smartphone, you can call up on the other mobile device and find out the notes that you're, you're trying to remember. The app is absolutely free, and it may be one of the greatest ways to organize your life using your iPad and might be justification if you're looking to get yourself an iPad. And that's the episode for today. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Have you used Catch Notes? Do you like Catch Notes? Do you not like Catch Notes? Please let me know, and we'll talk about it on Fridays, which is a viewer choice Fridays. You can also send me a review, like I said, in any way, shape, or form, audio, video, whatever, and I'll play it up on, up on, on the show, iPad 365. Now, tomorrow we did get an email, and they did ask us about a specific company, which was kind of weird, because we did look at that company while we were at CES. Uh, a very big supporter of this company and we're going to be talking about a way that you can charge your iPad without having a plug nearby. It's a great little charger and you probably heard about it but we're going to talk about it tomorrow. So come back in 24 for another episode of iPad 365. My name is Jeffrey Powers and until then, take care. <laughs>